<laughs> oh boy. <laughs> So we have we have our creative block coming up. Um, our creative for today is Tanya Price. Tell mm-hmm. us a little bit about Tanya and about her creative VT. <laughs> <laughs> so our creative for today is content creator and YouTuber of the channel that was created to focus on different aspects of the Jamaican culture, mainly in the rural areas. Um, it's dubbed Chat Jamaican. So I do want to hear no form of English from Tanya when she comes on <laughs> because her channel is called Chat Jamaican with Tanya. And she has over 50,000 subscribers. Wow. That is amazing. Tanya, welcome to welcome, Campus welcome. Connection. Hi, I want to thank you for having me. No, Tanya. English. No, she no, started with no, English. Tanya, man. <laughs> Tanya, no, you, know, you have to chat Jamaican. <laughs> We're all going to talk Patwa in this segment because <laughs> the name of the the name of the, the channel is Chat Jamaican. Yes. So Tanya, so... give us something to give a piece. <laughs> well, actually, the, the pot will always come out when I'm there, depending on the person that I'm speaking to. Yeah. So okay. I normally go to their level. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> would have to start off with the pot for me to chip right in. All right. right. Yes. No, so no, so <laughs> All no, right. So, 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 Tanya, tell, uh, let me see, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, tell me a little bit about yourself, who right. you good are, job, tell me a little bit job, about the channel. Job. Jonathan, <laughs> I, I do this every day. I talk about what every day, okay? Oh, <laughs> Guys, he, he's always making fun of me with this fat <laughs> thing. But yes, tell us, a, tell me a little bit about yourself and, you know, the channel and just okay. how things have been going. Okay, so my name is Tanya Price and mm-hmm. I am a teacher by profession. Oh. And I have also worked with the Ministry of Education in various capacity. Mm-hmm. I um I am a mother. I recently mm. gave birth to a child. He's oh, three congratulations. months. Oh, yeah. His name is Zaire. Nice. And yes, yeah, so um in regards to the channel. Um, I focus on the rural areas. Since I am living in St. Elizabeth and Manchester, mm. I travel both parish parishes. So I would be in St. Elizabeth at some point in time and also in Manchester. Mm. So what I'll do, I will do vlogs that focuses on farming, um, charity, or um, outdoor vlogs. Um, I'll also do live videos. And... These are some of the the areas that the channel actually focus focuses on. Okay, okay, and yeah. and you know we all know Jamaica is a beautiful island, absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah. I've had the privilege of traveling to all fourteen parishes, and man, amazing. So tell us then, why did you decide to become a travel vlogger? Was it because of the beauty of Jamaica. What, what, why, why, why? Actually, I started teaching patwa on the mm. channel. Um, okay. I was living in Kingston at the time, and they couldn't understand my patwa when I talk. So oh, if I talk, that, yes, like if okay. I said the word Smith, they will think I say Simit. Simit. So I was focusing on um, creating content which speak the language which speak Patwa to show that nothing is wrong with mm. talking Patwa or depending on where you're from in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. So what happened is that when I relocated um, to the rural areas, I, re- I, I was just passing Dopey Church. And then I said, <laughs> you know what? Let me just stop and do a vlog. And I'm just doing various research to see how the topic would take up because the, the chat, when I'm speaking the patwa, I, I wasn't getting the views that I wanted. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So after I did Dopey Church and starting to show some beautiful areas in Jamaica, I realized mm-hmm. that people were interested interested in that content. So I just started to make interview content where I interview farmers, I interview um 
work because it depends on whatever it is that they're doing mm -hmm. i would do some form of interview with them and i realized that people gravitate to that content wow, wow. so what would you say is your favorite episode if you will your favorite video of all all right my favorite video of all is a video that i did with my father my father is a farmer and he lives in a rural area called Beth Salem in St. Elizabeth. And mm -hmm. one day we were on the farm and we were just talking about, you know, the Jamaican duppy stories. You don't have to believe in it, but he was just sharing some of his experiences that he has had on the farm. So mm -hmm. what I did while I was interviewing him, I kind of turned that video into like a duppy segment and say, father and daughter experience digging yam. So while he was digging the yam and talking about the, the Jamaica and talking about the dopey and all of that, it, it, the, the content came out great. And I was able to upload that video. So I really enjoyed that video and I love that video. Mm. So one thing I've, I've recognized since 2020 is that we all have to learn to pivot, right? If you realize that something is not working out, you have to learn to pivot. Yeah. And you said that you started out with um, the teaching of the dialect on um, the YouTube channel. And then you recognized that persons were interested in the traveling and the different areas and all of that. So what I want to know, Tanya, what was the thought process behind that? So you did the Doppy Church video. I'm assuming that it gave you the views that you were looking for, right? yes yes all right yes. so what 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 was the thought process after that what did you decide to do after that all right so after that no i started making outdoor content mm. but um i realized that when i do content that just focuses on the beauty like i just go to the place and say guys look at this this is a very beautiful place i don't really get that high views but if it involves somebody who is just sharing um, the knowledge about the area and the experience that they have had living in the area, I realized that people would um, sit down and watch and get the information that they need. Mm -hmm. So you just have mm -hmm. to give. Information is needed, so they should be able to be learning something for right. them to really sit down and give, them, give their time mm -hmm. to the video that you have um, produced. Wow. And and would you say there there's still some places in Jamaica that you probably have on a bucket list that you'd want to go to in the future? Haven't yes. been yet. Where is that? Yes. All right. Where I would love to. I have never been to Hanover before. I'm being mm. honest. So what I would love to do is still to reach out to people in those areas. Hanover, Westmoreland, um, Clarendon and the saint catherine and to get some informative information where that i can share on the channel because people are interested in people some of the the, the people that i have interviewed the community members have not seen them for a very long time mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. welcome them they welcome their presence mm -hmm. and they also welcome the knowledge that they have to give so um i definitely would want to travel all over the island with invitation so <laughs> if i'm inv invited say tanya come to trelawney come and interview me on my yam farm no problem i will be there nice wow. nice so yes. all the yam farmers out there tanya <laughs> is asking you to invite her <laughs> to her farm or to your farm rather so yes. the reality of it a lot of persons view the creative economy if we will call it that um they don't see it as being lucrative while some persons are clearly living off creativity alone so as a content creator as a youtuber do yeah. you think that this particular um career path is lucrative is there earning potential yes and uh, i must say that a lot of the content creators they are doing well once mm -hmm. they have studied their niche studied the content that they are putting out mm -hmm. and you also have to know your subscribers and your followers 
you have to know what it is that they want and then you continue to produce content that they want in order for them to always come back to watch your videos and for you to grow i have known of um people um that have left their nine to five jobs and now they're doing youtube full-time but with that it comes dedication mm -hmm. it, com it comes with dedication it comes with hard work you should treat it the same way how you would treat your job once you do it that way you are now earning a nine to five mm -hmm. and you also have to be consistent with what you do Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to become a content creator, whether you're creating a website, whether it is you're um, doing your Facebook Live, you're on YouTube and creating your content, you have to ensure that you're consistent and your viewers are always seeing you and knowing what it is that you have to offer to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm makes sense um, yeah and thank you thank you so much for sharing just so many nuggets with us i think per persons are listening and they're getting inspired wanting to do their own youtube channel yeah. but certainly we want to say congratulations on your success so far Fifty thousand subscribers we know big that deal can't be big deal that is not easy at all so mm -hmm. that's a major accomplishment before we go though do you have any um big ups anyone you want to say send shout outs to okay well i must give a big shout out to my mother leone palmer my girls amora and daria and also zaire and all my subscribers and my supporters that are out there um continue to follow the channel chat jamaican with tanya and for those who are just hearing about the channel you can just go over to youtube and type in chat jamaican with tanya you can view the content view what it is that i have to offer and then just hit that subscribe button and always come back for more information all right all thank right. you so much tanya yeah. for making it campus connection all right thank all you the best. for having me and happy birthday thank you ah! so much <laughs> <laughs> all right Take care. Uh, wow wow I'm so many you. things so many things that we need to take into consideration you don't have to go the regular route yeah of nine to fives that was chat jamaican with tanya tanya price yes. um and she gave us what an insight rather into what her creative lifestyle is all about this yes. is campus connection and we're going to take a break and come right back with more so stay tuned <laughs> 